All right, so hi. Um, I'm in my room uh, doing this vlog. Um, I decided that I would show some of my personal side. So what I did was I left the closet open and you know, it's up to your imagination. Um, the things that, you know, the stuff that are in there. Um, I'm, I'm mentioning clothes because um, I'm planning on shopping more and I'll, I'll get to the reason I'll get to the reason why that's the case. But like right now I'm wearing a, this modern looking uh, sweater, black sweater, I should say, you know, there's, there's an emphasis for black, right? And, um, you know, because what happened to me was uh, when I took, when I took care of my three nephews, I was really out of the game for almost 20 years. And, um, you know, say, say, um, th I was 30 years old when I, when I got back to the, you know, the marketing and all that. So it's been quite a while, but I've been studying it for a long time. Um, and I've, and I've learned that this is basically the suit, you know, for business. This is what people wear, um, when they go to, uh, corporate meetings and all that. Um, because, you know, I grew up, um, I grew up, you know, suit and tie, right? I grew up, uh, you know, brown khakis and then white top and what have you, you know, but, um, you know, I, I love it. I, I love, I love this, uh, generation though. You know, I, I think a lot of people underestimate, the uh, the millennial, but I really like what they're doing. Um, I, you know, for me, I had, um, you know, I had some struggle adjusting to it because I was taught to, I was taught to be uh, old school. I was taught to be cheap. Right. Um, but you know, the more I look into the modern world, like, um, the new style, um, it makes me now, you know, want to go shopping. Like, like I'm going to be back at the mall tomorrow and I look for more, uh, modern clothes. So stop me. If you should, if, if you feel that I'm doing the wrong thing, you know, give me a reason or just stop me and just say, Hey, stop what you're doing. Um, even my eyewear, um, I didn't really plan to have these uh, eyeglasses. Um, I planned on using my um, my Oakleys, um, you know, continually after my eye examination and all that stuff. But the lady at the eye clinic, she said, you know, you, you gotta, you have to, you know, uh, engage with the new stuff. So th that's that's how I um, got these uh, frames and all that stuff. You know, it's made from Italy. It's um, Safoni, something like that. But um, you know, it's it's a Euro European brand, right? So um, yeah, it's been tough. You know, uh, it's been tough lately. Um, I think again, um, you know, I've been away from the game for a very long time. Um, uh, and then, you know, what, what, the way I was taught was that I have to, I have to see people in person. Um, it's different now, you know, since the pandemic where, uh, we're just being online. Um, like right now this is online, but I was taught to be in person. Uh, like, you know, like if you make a deal with someone, you know, meet, meet him in person, even, even if the meeting will suck, at least you can get a, a, um, like an idea, you know, like what's going on and all that stuff. Right. And you don't have to be opinionated about it, you know, but you can learn from the wins and losses. Um, you know, you can learn what makes people, um, successful and um you know vice versa with their failure you learn why they failed and why they can't continue on with their business or something like that um but uh with my case you know like um 
I'm not worried about numbers anymore. Um, because I have an idea what people want out of, um, you know, out of my YouTube. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I've reached the ceiling, you know, it's one of those things where I can't innovate anymore. Uh, I, I do, I do think about it all the time. Like I, I, when I drive on, out on the road here in Niagara, I do look around, you know, I do try to envision wh where I can do my vlog, you know, what's my next vlog and all that stuff, you know. And, um, you know, like when I was doing, uh, park benches, I did, I did a lot of, I did a lot of vlog, you know. So, it's as if I've lost thoughts. Um, that's really the reason why I stopped vlogging for a while because I ran out of thoughts, you know. Um, and uh, I can recollect, you know, my my um, the the genesis of my vlog where I did it here in my room, um, and you know, people replicated it. You know, people replicated the the blue black the blue black background. As I say, sorry. And along with the bright lights, you know, I think people were um, concerned with the bright lights. But if it gets replicated, I mean, that's fine, you know. If if it pushes the art, you know, I'm all for it. You know, if if um, if if, it, if it's gonna make things better, you know, uh, then I'm, I must be doing something right, right? You know, so. But um. With these, uh, you know, if I should go shopping tomorrow for these uh, modern looking uh, clothes, uh, it's more, of, I'm not saying it's an experiment, but it's more of, um, you know, just basically uh, get on with a new thing, right? Like I'm watching this guy from uh, CLC. Um, actually, he was the one who inspired me to get this sweater, but... It's uh, Josh Loy. Um, you know, his uh, Instagram is uh, on public, so um, I get to see his uh, work on uh, on his uh, Instagram profile. And he's in Alberta now. Uh, or I should say, yeah, like somewhere in Calgary. Calgary, Alberta. But um, he, he kind of... He, he kind of just basically... You know, he he had a, he had this statement on me where you know just put put off you know the, the put off the past again because I was taught old school and deep in my heart I feel like I will still be old school um, and and you, and you see the you see the difference you know like um like after he had the like the part two for uh, donuts for uh, for the bakery. You know, like I can see the the modern world, like um, you know, I can see where that's not how I was I was uh, introduced to bread and all that stuff. You know, Manila Bakery is very different from how they get their buns and all that stuff. You know, um, cause cause me when I, when I get my my uh, my bread, it'll be a pandesal, you know. It'll be at the Filipino store. Uh, whereas this generation, this new generation, they get it from shops like Wowzers. And then everything is luxurious. Inside it's just, you know, state of the art. But, you know, I, I grew up, uh, again, I, I grew up and was taught this old, old school uh, lifestyle. And uh, and I'm not afraid to show my old school ways. Like, you know, if I have to, you know, open the fridge at the Filipino store, get my ube, you know, and then, you know, my my conchinta, my puto, my um, my lechon, if if the restaurant is available, um, you know, and um, you know, it, 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 I'm not saying I'm hurt. It's just that it's it's a very difficult mountain to climb over, you know, because um, 
because I, I don't I don't really know what I'm doing now, you know. Um, uh, you know, I'm uh, I, like like with this vlog, I'm not expecting good numbers, you know. Um, so I, I I don't really know at this point. Um, all I can do now is is make that transition. Um, you know, start with the clothes. Uh, and and just see a different uh, perspective. I think my, it's my perspective that's hurting me. Um, and at the same time, you know, study uh, modern people like Josh Lloyd. I've been I've been I was I've been on his Instagram for for a couple of days now. Um, now even the music, like I noticed, um, you know, there's a lot of Drake. There's a lot of um, you know, um, like these new artists who, who are very good with the craft of uh, R&B or what have you, you know. You have Beyonce, of course. But, you know, changing um, music, uh, what have you, all that stuff, you know. Music, fashion, food, um I don't know what else, you know, probably haircut, you know. Um, but we'll see what, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, we'll see what happens, uh, you know, a few days from now. Maybe I'll change my mind again and revert back to my old school ways. But, you know, but we live in modern time. You know, um, I have to, you know, wake up and smell the coffee, you know, that I have to be a modern man, you know, uh, how I go about, uh, experiencing that. I really don't know. Um, uh, again, I was, I was taught old school at the same time. I was out of the game for almost 20 years. Uh, and it's only recently that I'm getting back to it. Um, yeah, you know, some of these guys, man, like even just like the, the guy mentioning, I mean, he's a realtor, you know, and um, he, he sees uh, marketing his Instagram, and I'm sure I'm sure he's gonna do well, you know, like the the just the skill and and the image, you know. So um, I, I'm just gonna take it day by day, you know. Um, again, I, I'm hurt. I'm hurt that. Um, you know, feel like I, I was ran over, you know, like, cause a, a lot of people are like, well, a lot of people are modern, you know, uh, not too many people are gonna dress like me and all that stuff. Um, I, I yeah, like, I just want to experience it. Like, um, like, like I would just, I just want to gratify the, the, the modern way, you know. But I can't give up, um, you know, I can't give up my old school way. Like, I had my fedora. I had my fedora hat at the at the mall today. You know, and I had my leather jacket. I had my le leather gloves. And, you know, and, like, I just feel that people underestimate me, but that's okay. But once those sliding doors open in Walmart, you know, who's freezing really? And I could see the manager, the, you know, the 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 girl and the girl who takes care of the welcoming, and right, she's basically crying how cold it is, you know. So I made my mark there, you know. I made my point, <laughs> and um, uh, you know, and and I, I like it because what what Walmart is gonna do now is they're gonna, they're gonna sell winter fedora hats, right? So I'll be a customer to buy it, you know. And um, I'll go tomorrow, uh, the the Walmart at Penn Center, and I'll see if um, see if you know anything change uh, in terms of winter wear, you know. So anyway, thanks for listening, and um, I'm trying to be a modern man. Hmm. Okay, that's that's old school. All right, bye.